Hello guys, in this video we will see how to create, configure and connect to Ubuntu 22.04 RDS EC2 instance in AWS. First connect to AWS console, then search for EC2. Click on EC2. Then first you have to select the region from this drop down list. Okay. Charges are based on the region also. See, at present, I don't have any instances running. All are zero, which means zero instances are running. Click on instances, then click on launch instances, then you the name. I'm giving UB22 LTS EC2. Name can be anything. Copy it. Then AMI, that is Amazon Machine Image. Click on Ubuntu. Or if you are unable to find here, you have to click on browse more AMIs. Or here you can search. Hit enter. See here, we have the different AMIs for the Ubuntu. Okay. So we are going to install Ubuntu Server 22.04 LDS version. Okay. So select it. 64 bit x86. Select it. Then here we have to select the instance type. See, T2 micro is pre-tire eligible and remaining are not pre-tire eligible. Okay. For this demo purpose, I am going with pre-tire. But in your case, you have to select based on the requirements like number of CPUs and memory. Okay. So, keep this as it is. Next, key pair. Key pair is used to connect to EC2 instance. So, I don't have any key pairs. So, click on create new key pair. I am giving the same name and here I am selecting dot pem and type is rsc okay click on create key pair see dot pem is used to connect with open ssh for putty you have to select ppk so click on create key pair see the dot pem file is created and downloaded okay next network settings at present I don't have any network information. Click on edit. See here in the drop down we don't have any VPC or subnet or any IPS. First select auto SN public IP then click on refresh. See we don't have any. So for that we have to go to here services search for VPC. Right click on VPC then select open link in new tab. Then see here the region must be the same. See here it is not US East one that is North Virginia. Here also it must be the same. Okay. I have selected the same. Then click on create VPC. Then provide the name. I am going with same this one. Okay. Name can be anything. I am not going to change any these defaults. Okay. So click on create VPC. See VPC has created and it is creating other components. Now go back. Click on refresh, we will be able to find the VPC. See here, we have the VPC. In the same way, subnet, if you refresh, we will get the, see, we have different subnets. I am going with availability zone US East 1A. You select it. Okay. Then, remaining options, security group, I don't have, any. see, if you have an existing security group, see, we have one, that is the default one, but I, I want to create separate security group. So, I am giving SC ub22 okay. then description i am not going to change anything here ssh by default it has selected public on advanced network secondary ip nothing i am going to configure here storage i am giving 30 gigabytes see free type eligible customer can get up to 30 gb evs general purpose ssdr magnetic storage so i am going to use 30 if you want to add additional volume, you have to click on add volume. Next, advanced details. I'm not going to change anyone. See, if you have an existing domain, you have to select here. Or if you want to create the domain directory, you have to create. In the same way, if you want to attach any IAM instance profile, you have to select here. Then, DNS hostname, I'm going to enable this resource based IP4. You also can select this one, okay? Remaining options, I'm not going to select the bottom we have the user data if you want to provide any custom data or scripts you have to provide here 
okay these are the configuration that i am going to add for this ubuntu ec2 instance see this is the summary number of instances if you want to increase to you can give the number two okay i am giving only one then come down if you okay with all these settings you have to click on launch instance click on it so you see successfully initiated the launch of the instance click on the instance click on it see its a state is still pending wait until it is to be changed to running refresh see state has been changed to running and this is the public ip this is the private ip and this is the ip before dns name okay and this is the instance type okay this is auto and public ip these are other information iam role we haven't attached any iam role and this is the information about the operating system status and alarms we haven't set anything monitoring nothing is there because we haven't connected because we don't have any session security this is the security group networking see this is the information about the ec2 ins ubuntu ec2 instance networking storage see we have given the 30 gb volume tax we haven't provided any tax current details now go up see here this is the refresh button if you want to connect machine you have to click on connect then instance state if you want to stop this instance we have to click on stop instance if you want to reboot you have to reboot if you want to delete permanently you have to click on this terminate instance next action if you want to modify any one of them you have to click on the respective tab and click on the respective option okay now click on connect this is used to connect to the aws ubuntu ec2 instance click on it this is the command copy it go to this mpy download a directory cmd cd downloads c the file name is dot fem file the file name ends with dot pem okay go to that downloads directory and verify dir star dot pem hit enter see we have the same pem file now copy this command or select entire string and right click and copy both are same click on copy button then paste it and hit enter now type s for confirmation and hit enter see we have successfully connected to aws ubuntu ec2 instance control l to clear the screen let's verify the version of the this ubuntu machine more slash etc os hyphen release see we have installed ubuntu ubuntu and it is the latest version that is 22.04.4 can also verify get ubuntu see click on desktop see here the latest version is ubuntu 22.04 see we have installed the same ubuntu 22.04 lds on aws cloud okay even if you want to verify ip of this machine if can't be so to get this local ip copy this one install it now run if config see this is the ip so this is the private ip can I verify that go to instance go to instance see 10.0.6.58 see this is the same so in this video we have seen how to create configure and connect to ubuntu 22.04.4 lts in aws cloud for more videos please subscribe my channel thank you